first, can you introduce yourself and tell us what you do in the band? I'm Nick, and I play guitar and I sing. I'm Ryan, I play guitar. I'm Anto, I play bass. I'm Jonathan, and I play drums. All right, you're on tour with Paramore right now. How's that going? Very well. It's been fun. Shows have been big. Kids have been really cool. Uh, Paramore is awesome. The band we're on tour with Paper Route is really awesome. And it's good. It's been awesome. We get to eat a lot of food. Yeah. yeah love it, food. They're treating us really well. They're keeping us fat. It's nice. Uh, any good tour stories? Somebody keeps hiding Paper Route's uh, bottle of JD. And they think that it's me, but I swear I'm not touching their stuff. Does somebody keep doing it? Like, Apparently, yeah. Wow. Because that might happen like once, maybe twice. Someone but... drank like half the bottle too. <laughs> and they're like, who did it? But our hands are clean. We don't play those kind of jokes. <laughs> yeah, we only play fun, like, we just... kissing jokes. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're going to kiss boys. Yeah, yeah. And then, but that's uh, illegal, so we don't actually do it. <laughs> actually, not in Massachusetts. A good story. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, a good story. The other day, um, like, some lady, like, came into the show. We don't know how she got in. And, uh... She was like talking to Nick, asking all these questions if she could meet the band, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this was like way before doors were opened. I thought she maybe worked at the venue and she just kept acting like, I mean, she looked like she might have worked there. So I just kind of let her talk to me. She kept saying like, oh, can I take a picture of you by stage? I'm just like, what are you, why, what? And then yeah, the Paramore kids walked in and she started chasing them and screaming and her daughter came in through the side. <laughs> She's like pulling a Haley's coat apparently. Apparently. Yeah, I mean, the Paramore kids are cool enough. They're like, you know, respectful, they're not gonna just run backstage, so obviously they took some pictures, and, but us and the paper route guys were kind of fearing for Paramore's safety at that point, and we were just, <laughs> so we told the family, you guys will get kicked out and not be able to get back in if you get caught, and they were like, oh, and so they took off. But yeah, it's just unreal to see that Paramore so down to earth, and they're such good people, really? but their fans think that they're just like the biggest thing in that world and right. it's almost scary. Yeah, it's intense hearing like kids in the crowd scream like I love you Ellie! But like <laughs> so intensely you're just like fuck that guy means it. You yeah. know? It's yeah weird. it's usually a guy too which is Sometimes, weird. Sometimes oh yeah did you hear the guy in the crowd last night? He just said you're really hot Haley! <laughs> and we had like a mean face like I was like is she gonna go, wow, I'm turned out, you know, like, that's, <laughs> what's the point? That's why she has a crew of, like, big dudes that helped out the band, so yeah. just in case anything happens, like... Uh, but uh, as for as for crazy tour stories, I don't think, uh, it's, I, I don't think enough time has passed just yet for something that crazy. Yeah, what are we, halfway done? Uh, not even. Not even. I, I think the craziest it's... thing that happened, it, it was snowing already, and we were driving yeah. to the next city, and we're like, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, that was <laughs> the This worst. is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy, that, in so, October, like, yeah. early October. Now, what's it like playing these big venues? It's uh, it sounds better on stage, so we can hear what we're doing. It sounds better off stage because there's really big speakers involved, and uh, we can pretty much say whatever we want into the microphone, and the kids will do it. Uh, they're young and impressionable, <laughs> but they're very cool. They're uh, they're really supportive and respectful of what we're doing. So um, it's it's definitely a st it's a step in a different direction, but we're getting used to it, and it's uh, I think we're finally on a roll now, like we're, we're in the groove, we got our groove back. And a, a cool thing about it too, um, like we're not used to having a place to relax. So actually having like rooms in the back where we can just like, like we're normally driving all night or like doing stuff all day. Cause we have like, the beginning of the tour I had like eight hour drives, it was nuts. So we actually got to just relax, change our strings. We get there at like, what, one, one, one in the afternoon. And we have, we don't play till 7.30 at night. So we have all this time to just relax. We actually get fed. We get to, you know, do normal people things for once instead of just being frantic yep. all the time. So that's really nice. And we do play the big shows and then there's a lot of days off. Like today, it's a day off on the Paramore Tour. So we're here playing in New Bedford because we like to play shows instead of sit around. So this place is going to be definitely different than the other shows. You know, you could probably fit 100 people in there comfortably, but that's awesome. Like that's one of my favorite things is to be able to come and play like an intimate show where I can see every single person's face right in front of me. And we've been playing here for years too, which is funny. Kids are like, oh, now that you're on Fuel by Robin, you're not gonna play New Bedford. And the second someone said that, we're like, we're playing New Bedford actually, so. <laughs> so do you prefer the intimate shows? Oh. Yeah, I actually do. I mean, shows like this don't necessarily let you sell tons of CDs and t-shirts and make bank or, you know, look like rock stars, but they're the ones that we remember the most, I think. Because like when we play a giant show, we can be like, guys, remember that big room we played? And we're like, yeah. But when it's a show like this, it's like, 
hey, remember when we played that show and that one kid came up to us and said this, and then this happened, and then like we actually have stories. It's like a reality check, you know? Yeah, we have a lot of friends here too, so we get to meet everybody. And uh, so yeah, I like doing both. Hopefully we can continue doing both here and there. Like we're on another big tour, we're playing with Less Than Jake and the Casualties right, right after this, and another tour in early next year, and then going to Europe and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be uh, <coughs> it'll be cool to be able to do our own things here and there. Just you know, playing the small venues, it's fun. And your new album, Ups and Downsizing, came out last month. Tell us about that. It's been crazy. Um, how long has it really been? Two weeks? Two or three weeks now? Seems yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's been out forever just because everything's oh, been wow. so long. But um, we've sold more copies of it than we've sold of our last one in two years. So I think people are digging it pretty hard. Do we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, by now? Totally. Cool. Yeah. I have chocolate on my mouth, I'm sorry. I'm not like licking my lips thinking about it. But, uh, <laughs> oh, money, huh? Yeah, so it's, it's cool. Like, it's being really, it's being received well by everybody, and our label has been really awesome. And they, they enjoy working with us, and we enjoy working with them. And, uh, notice I'm not so bitter today. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Yesterday we did an interview and I was just <laughs> talking about how everybody else but us sucks and <laughs> how they all wish that they were in a band and they'll never amount to anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in a good mood now, probably because I ate No Problemo burrito. So, but yeah, record, it's cool. All right. <laughs> uh, how'd you get involved with Fuel by Ramen? We just made some demos and we sent it their way and we sent it to a couple labels and they were one of the first to hit us up and be like, we really like what you're doing we're gonna keep following up, and they did, and they visited us in the studio, because we actually recorded this album before we signed. Um, we, we gave it to them and said, what do you think? And they were down, so um, the fact that they've been with us kind of since square one and like demoing for this record, uh, we just knew they were the right choice. Like They believed in us the most, I think, and we're the only band that they signed all year, which is really cool, so they gave us a lot of attention, even though they put out like Cobra Starship, Paramore, yeah. all these huge bands this year. <laughs> that was a weak one, but that was all liquid. I think, I think they just like it because we're a different kind of band. And even the people at the label are really cool about having us be our own thing. So we're not like being pushed as a Fuel by Ramen band, we're being pushed as the Swellers for the first time, which is awesome. So, you know, the label's excited to experiment with stuff like that. We're excited that, you know, have the push we've been wanting for years, and at the same time have our own like unique like individuality. So that's pretty cool. And, uh... <laughs> Anything else? No, I was just agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> we were like complimenting each other during our questions. That was a great answer.